binders are something that bind together the mold, that bind together the sand particles, and especially in organic binders, does the work. However, both organic and inorganic kind of binders are used in foundry processes. However, the organic binders are mainly used for core making that we will discuss in the coming lectures. Now, out of the inorganic binders, clay is the most common kind. Fire clay, kaolinite, iliite and bentonite being the most popular ones in which the fire clay is a refractory clay which is used usually found in coal measures. Then we have kaolinite. Its general composition is Al2O3.2SiO2.2H2O. It is one of the decomposition product of the slow weathering of the granite and basalt, basalt being a kind of black rock. It is the main constituent of china fire clay. Then we have Iliad. It has the composition of K2O.Al2O3.SiO2.H2O. It is also formed by the weathering process but of mica rocks. Its particle size is about same as the kaolinite clay and has similar molding properties. And last but not the least we have bentonite. Bentonite has the composition of MgO.Al2O3.SiO2.H2O. It is formed from the weathering of volcanic or igneous rocks. It is actually a creamy white powder. Now, if you clearly examine all these kind of inorganic binders, you will see one composition remains the same. The basic constituent of all these refractories is Al2O3, that is alumina. So the presence of alumina defines a binder. Now of all the type of inorganic binder, of all the type of clay binders, bentonite is the most commonly used. It needs a smaller amount of water to obtain a certain given degree of plasticity. The percentage of binder in molding sand is of great importance. The bond must be strong enough to withstand the pressure and erosion by the melt. Yet, it must be sufficiently weakened by the heat of metal to allow shrinkage of the casting and finally removal of the sand without the damage to the solid casting. 